to plate it. Today we're going to make a southern favorite, red beans and rice. So we're going to start by opening up a bag of red beans, red kidney beans, and soaking them overnight for 24 hours. The reason that we're going to do this is to allow the beans to swell up a little bit and they'll cook easier that way. We've got them all in the bowl now and we're just going to go ahead and finger through them and just check for any type of rocks or anything that may be left in the bag that we didn't know we don't want to add into the pot. Then we'll do this a couple times and go through it. And we definitely, the next time we check on it later, we definitely want to make sure we take out some of the, the split beans that are in there. And uh, we'll just go from there. But this looks fine. So we'll go to the next step. But that's the first step with red beans and rice. You want to get the beans soaking overnight. The next step that you want to do is actually get your pot seasoned. And we're going to use ham hocks today ham hocks and salt pork. You can use a ham bone, you can use a smoked neck bone, pigtails, turkey butt, anything that you would like. But today we're gonna use ham hocks. So we got the ham hocks down in there and we're gonna let that boil probably for maybe an hour, hour and a half to get everything seasoned right and all the meat cooked in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get that. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get all your vegetables all set up. And you can see here we have the trinity. We have onions, celery, and pepper. The twist here is that the red pepper's in there as well because we like red pepper. Uh, you should try it on there. I think you'd like it. Give us a comment. We've got garlic. we got fresh bay leaves. We've got curly parsley, some butter and some Creole seasoning. And by the way, all of that will be in the description below. For the meats, we're gonna use a half a pound of ground beef, maybe a 90-10 so it's not greasy, and these Parker House smoked sausages that has like a medium hint of heat in it. It's not really scalding hot spice, so it's gonna be very flavorful, and that's gonna blend in with the pot as well. So that's what makes it really tasty. We're gonna cut up about a pound of these sausages, uh, about, you know, half inch size or less. You can cut them any size you want for yourselves, but we just cut them there so you can bite, bite size, do it that way. We'll get that going and pull out a, a, an iron skillet so we can fry them off and kind of saute them. And you'll see that as we go through here. But I wanted to make sure I showed you that we cut those up in slices. Here we're gonna drop down the oil for this step. And then we're gonna put in the Parker House sausages to saute them off. We'll toss them in and just get them sauteed and to your liking. Uh, for us, we, we like some of them to have a little char on them just for the flavor of it all for the pot. We want to keep the pot flavorful. And so we've got the sausages in there. We just add the little oil, but we're going to toss them around until they're just like we want them. Uh, it took us about seven minutes to get them this way. Um, and that's just the way that we did it. Um, so we're going to take them out now, put them to the side, not even clean out the skillet because our next step and you're going to see here is that we're going to be cooking the hamburger meat. About a half a pound of hamburger meat we're going to sit in here and we're going to brown that up really good. But what you should also do next is uh, add the trinity or the, the peppers, the onion and the celery with the hamburger meat and kind of brown it off together. But what I did before I did that, I added a little salt and pepper to the, uh, the hamburger meat because we seasoned throughout for the depth of flavor. And you can see I almost used the whole plate of the, the Trinity in there. And we'll save the rest for uh, a later stage here. But this step 
it's very important to build the base of the red beans and rice the way you really want them. And you can see here, we're setting everything up to get it. And so this recipe is very easy to make, very simple to make, but you have to follow these steps. I encourage you to. This is not the only way to make red beans and rice, by the way, but this is the way that I learned how to do it from my mom. And uh, my sister taught me that technique to put the ground beef and the Trinity together. This is the day after now, 24 hours. You can see that the beans have swollen up and they look like kidneys. So those are red kidney beans. And what I did here is because I checked for rocks already, I'm just really just gonna take out some of the split shells or the, uh, the split beans and take them out. Um, but you can certainly leave them in there. But those are all rinsed off now. They're back in the bowl and we're ready to build our pot of red beans and rice. You can see here that the ham hocks have been cooking for about an hour and a half. Uh, because I don't really like to leave my ham hocks in the pot or the salt pork, I'm gonna pull them out. But what it did was it seasoned the broth to this. And this is another part, of a big part of your base. You wanna have that in here. And this is why I'm not adding any salt. It's not necessary because this is very flavorful now. Um, but you wanna give it a stir and a taste to make sure that when you pull it, it is kind of concentrated and has a, 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 a salty taste to it. And it does. So after that, we're ready to start building our pot, uh, starting with the, the beans that have set overnight. We're gonna put those in slowly we're not going to put it on a rapid boil, but we are going to uh, cook these. And we're going to add them in in stages. Um, and then once it's in, and then you've got your leftover trinity that you can just put in there because we don't like to waste. So we're going to use every, every uh, ingredient here. So we got that in there. And we got the... the the garlic going in next and so the garlic uh we use probably about three three cloves of garlic in there and there's that uh curly parsley that's in there and you can see that's a beautiful color and so now everything's kind of got to blend together and kind of marry together but we want to add now the hamburger meat with the trinity that was cooked into it so now you've got everything that's going to just be steeped in together so we dumped everything out of the iron skillet in there. And that's good for this step right here. Now the dry seasoning. We definitely want to uh, make sure you put some Creole seasoning in there, whether it's Tony Catcher's or the Magic Seasoning. But get you some seasonings to put in there. And you can see that magic right there. Uh, we got a tablespoon of the Tony Catcher's and two teaspoons of the, the Magic that we put in there. And so that's, that's in there right now. Obviously, uh, we want this to, to carry through, so we, you want enough in there. So make sure that you check the ingredients below. The next step that we're gonna do after we do a little quick stir, you're gonna see that this is all building again. What do we gotta put in? We gotta put in some sausage. And that's the, uh, the smoked sausage from Parker House. This has already been uh, sauteed, some of it's charred, and it's all in there. And it's got quite a ways to go now still as far as cooking. And we stripped the meat off of the ham hock and put the meat from the ham hock into the pot. So it's a one pot meal. And we've got that in there now and we're going to add some bay leaves uh, that's coming in next but give it a good stir check on your pot and and then you can add in your your bay leaves uh, next and so once the bay leaves are in there you can use like two maybe three in there and then just drop those in there and then you're going to want this to cook for at least an hour hour right now you you've got it all in there now and you're going to see the bay leaf sitting in there you've got uh everything percolating in the pot um 
it's not really on a big high. It's probably on medium heat right now. Everything's in the Dutch oven that you need to. And we're just going to stir that in, get it going. At this point, a lot of people, to make it real creamy, they smash some of the beans against the side of the pot. We didn't do that because we're going to eat this a couple days. We don't want it so stiff that you can't eat it the next day and you got to add water and stuff like that. We want to keep the original flavor. So that's what we're doing here. And that's what's going to make this uh, carry through to, for at least two days. And uh, this is uh, this is we're going to add at the end the, the butter. About four tablespoons of butter that you want to add in here. And let that sit in there. Give that a good stir. We really appreciate everybody watching our videos. Give us a review. Tell us what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, this red beans and rice, we got a lot of comments of people who tried it. And they really loved it. So we're really happy about this. Um, take a look at some of the other Louisiana or Southern recipes that we have on our channel. Uh, thank you for watching. We really appreciate you. Thank you.